on today's episode of how to fully ruin your car, we're gonna be um, taking out more weight. I should not be allowed to do this. I don't know why no one's stopping me, but it's too late. <laughs> Beat me. I'm a menace. I love disconnecting things from my perfectly fine seats. Haha, <laughs> that was half weight reduction. So my goal here is to well obviously clean up this mess, but also get all this carpet removed because this carpet's kind of heavy. So I'm gonna have to cut this out because right now I'm not removing the center console. So I'm gonna cut around it. And this, I believe this piece right here. Yep, this piece right here comes up. If I could just... Oh, yeah! Don't need that right now. All this carpet can come up. Should be good. This kind of happened. Complete accident. I accidentally uh, took apart something and then the whole carpet came out. Uh, I don't know how that happened. So uh, hopefully warranty will cover this. I don't know what happens. I really don't know what happens. I just, Cody, this is all your fault, dog. This is all your fault. I can literally see grass. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta get this piece out. That's all I gotta get. Don't mind how dirty the car is. A whole bunch of bugs were under here. Yeah, this piece is being a pain in the butt. I gotta cut this out. Then we should be good as gravy. Pretty much got all of it. So I was gonna clean out all this crap. And um, next thing I guess coming out is the engine. Weight reduction. I kind of want to do the driver's side now. <laughs> I'm an absolute menace. I can't be stopped. I can't be stopped. I'm an absolute menace. I just have too much fun with this. It's just, I love taking things apart, okay? I love taking things apart. And by the way, I'm sure my dad is watching this. It's all his fault. That's all your fault, because my dad always loved taking stuff apart when he was a kid. And now that I'm trying to build a race car, it's even more fun. This is great. I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think, huh? I think it looks pretty good. I gotta clean it up, obviously, but not bad. The passenger seat is gonna go back in here, just for now. Can you stop interrupting me, dog? What the frick? I do wanna have my passenger seat, that's for sure. Oh no, I scraped the plastic, guys. I gotta sell the car. It does goo gone so I can freaking, yeah, clean up all this crap, dude. It's gross. I really need to vacuum this car out, bro. <laughs> Ew. I gotta let that sit because that is gross. For the record, the reason this is so disgusting is partly because of the fact that when I used to do DoorDash full time, so many drinks spilt in the passenger seat and on the ground because I used to put all the food over here and so many drinks spilt that it's just all gross and sticky even here. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. Well, we got it somewhat cleaned up. I definitely gotta vacuum it out. Next part is gonna be this. We're gonna go ahead and cut this back piece out and I'm debating on whether or not I want to take off the seat and do this side right now. I don't know. All right, making the progress. Making some progress. I really don't feel like taking this freaking seat out, but I'm gonna have to. Dang it. So I've been sitting in the car for like 40 minutes contemplating my life. <sighs> I think I'm gonna take that door panel off because no one really sits in the passenger seat because I'm lonely. Don't need it. <laughs> I'm a monster. Yeah, weight reduction. Oh crap. I forgot there's a speaker right there. I will be keeping the door handle for luxury reasons. Oh. 
Oh, I got so lucky. I got so lucky that stayed on there. Oh my. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's magnetic. That makes sense. That should be good. Yeah, check that out. All right, so I still have to put the passenger seat back in, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the center console. I want the shifter exposed. I'll go ahead and relocate all of the buttons here and we'll be good to go. One day, I'm gonna regret doing all this. All right, y'all, so this is where I got. Um, I'm running out of daylight, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of wrap it up. I'm not gonna record any of this. This was a little loose because uh, all the support was gone. So I used double side tape, and it's like rock solid, dude. Amazing. I gotta fix this, though, because I still want my plugins, but yeah, I kind of, I wonder if I could take these out. I might be able to. Either way, this is it for the day. Tomorrow, we'll finish recording and see. Should be able to get everything done that I want to. So uh, see you guys in the AM. Well, it's the next day, and as y'all can see, I'm going for a drive. It rained last night, so there was puddles all over the road. And uh, I discovered something. Water wants to leak through from the floorboards right here. There is an opening over here that I have to seal, because obviously water is getting in from the puddles. <laughs> Race car! All right, guys, we are back with Luna, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish up what we were doing here. All these loose buttons are kind of just, <laughs> kind of just hanging around here, so I'm gonna try and find a nice way to rig them up to either the short shifter or something. I gotta clean up the seat too though, so we're gonna go take care of that. All right guys, we got all the buttons and wires cleaned up. Got the sport mode, parking brake, brake hold, and the wires have been nicely tied in with the zip ties and whatnot to keep them from being all loosey-goosey. Keyless entry sensor is nicely in place, not going anywhere, as well as the panel for your plugins, and it's very solid, very solid. Use zip ties to kind of keep that in there, as you guys can see, so. Very good, super nice, super awesome setup. Everything works, very happy with it. I thought about putting the cup holder here, but I don't think I'm gonna use it that much, so I'm really not sure about that. All right guys, so it is a brand new day today. I'm not feeling 100%, I just got over being sick. I feel a little better today, but I'm definitely a little worn down, so I'm gonna kinda take it easy. I might not sound so enthusiastic, but we'll still get stuff done. Today we're gonna go ahead and tackle the headliner. I think I'm gonna take this out because I don't really want it. I think it'll look a lot better too once it's gone. The good thing is, and I'm really happy about this, the sunroof, the panel right here, actually is separate from the sunroof, which means when I remove this, I can still cover the sunroof with this and if I don't want the sun beating on me. That's super nice. I'm gonna probably reinstall maybe these and the lights and stuff, but yeah, we don't need, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and take all that out. I'm not really gonna talk a lot. I'm just gonna go ahead and record, so. Um, Let's get right to it. All right, guys, so we got all four of the door handles off, all the lights disconnected, the pins out, the only thing I believe I have to do is just unplug whatever wiring there is on the A-pillars and this should be good to come out. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's uh... <laughs> she's coming out. Oh boy. What have I done? The sky is literally falling, dude. The really nice thing is, even though the headliner is gone, there is no light leaking through 
the sunroof area. And that is super nice, which means I can keep it nice and dark in here without having to worry about it getting hot because the sun's beating down. That's that's awesome. I gotta figure out what to do with these wires because they're all around up here. So I'm gonna have to reroute because I wanna at least keep some of the functions and whatnot. So, but we'll get there. Look at all the airbags. <laughs> well, that's pretty freaking scary, dude. Ow! Damn, that hurt. Didn't know tape could hurt you. All right, there it is. I think it's fully disconnected. Well, how do you even get this thing out? The <laughs> there it is. Um, I don't know how I feel about this, but you know, it's too late now. Yay. All right, y'all, so everything is exposed now. I gotta go ahead and obviously clean up the wiring make it all nice and neat so it's not hanging down and whatnot. I will be reinstalling the lights and whatnot so I can still have access to obviously the lights and then the sunroof controls, but this is super cool. It's really spacious in here now and actually it does kind of echo a little bit, so pretty interesting. I'm not gonna record this. I'm actually gonna go live on YouTube and we're gonna go ahead and get this done, but I'll see you guys whenever I'm done. All right, y'all, we are done for the day. I got all the wires and whatnot nicely tucked away as you can see. I even went ahead and added the cup holder back with some double side tape. Should be hopefully good. I use some really strong stuff, so hopefully it'll stay. And yeah, for now, this is how it's gonna sit. Once I stop daily driving this car, I am going to go ahead and remove the airbags and whatnot. But for now, like I said, my safety is more important. So I'm gonna leave them in. But yeah, got a lot done today. I'm very happy with it. Looks pretty good. Hope y'all enjoyed the video as always. Sorry, I'm not feeling too good. Uh, I was running a fever earlier. I took like a three hour nap. And I'm just kind of touching up little things. So we're making progress, guys. We're making some progress. Eventually, there will be a roll cage in her, but that's going to be a little while until that. That'll be a while. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, stay awesome, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Mm -hmm.